Genesis chapter number 43 and verse number 33. In this house we stand to the reading of God's word. One to go. It says, and Joseph told each of his brothers where to sit. And to their amazement, <laughs> he sat them according to their age. From the oldest to the youngest. And Joseph filled their plates with food from his own table. But he gave Benjamin five times more than the others. Mm. And he gave Benjamin five times more and the other brothers look to your neighbor say neighbor I got three words for you favor and fair oh find someone who's excited say neighbor I got three words for you favor and fair uh, sit down like you know mm. My God, my God, I feel something in my system this morning. I'm only praying that you don't miss what God has put in this service. Somebody say, favor! Makuskaba. People of God, in the U.S. Declaration of Independence, there is a famous line, a famous quotation that was penned by a, one of the founding fathers of America. He said, and we hold this truth to be self-evident that all men, you know it, are created equal. We hold this truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal. But hear me, child of God, although it is true that all men are created equal, I want you to understand that the experiences of men are, can never be equal in the earth. There are certain advantages that create difference among men. Child of God, I want you to know that in the earth there is a system of advantage. There is an advantage that puts men ahead of others. There are certain advantages that causes men to have more acceleration than others. This system of advantage was put there by God. It is called favor. Tell somebody favor. Favor is that system of advantage that God has put in the earth. Child of God, I want you to know that in destiny, you need an advantage. I said in life, you need an advantage. No matter what you do, whether you are a businessman or you own a career or you are even a student, you need an advantage. You need the advantage of favor. Any man that despise the place of favor should get ready for hard labor. In the school of life, favor is a thousand times better than labor. I want you to know that a man without favor is like food without taste. A man without favor is like food that has no seasoning. So what is favor? Favor is that flavor that gives savour to labor. Favor is celestial endorsement on terrestrial endeavors. I said favor is heavenly endorsement on earthly endeavors. What is favor? Favor is divine partiality. What is favor? Favor is what makes certain men to arrive destiny on time. What is favor? It is favor that makes a man to be preferred when others are accepted. It is favor that makes a man to be outstanding when other men are standing. Child of God, I want you to know that Mary was not the only virgin. It was favor that made her the mother of Jesus. Esther 
Rebecca was not the prettiest girl. It was favor that made her queen in a foreign nation. There is a system of advantage in the earth. It is called favor. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. This service of favor, you will carry favor. I want you to know, child of God, I bless God for great preachers and authors who have written books on success. Three steps to a turnaround, seven steps to prosperity, ten steps to a breakthrough, twelve steps to a turnaround, fourteen steps to prosperity. Child of God, can I talk to you? You can follow all these steps from one to the end. At the end of the day, if you lack favor, your effort will end in futility. Child of God, nothing frustrates a man like lack of favor. When you lack favor, you will suffer bad luck. That is why God sent me today by the power of the spirit because there are many listening to me. You have suffered. There is a systemic level of bad luck that has followed you till now. You have not experienced favor. There is nothing in your life that you can associate with favor. Everything you have, you have to labor for. But I came to tell you because God said to tell you in this service you will carry favor. I said in this service you will carry favor. I don't know what you do but get ready for favor. I don't know your career but get ready for favor. The Bible says in Psalm 102 and verse number 13 thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time it has come. I came to prophesy by the power of the spirit after today you will carry favor. 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 I prophesy favor will follow you. I say you will carry favor. Amanuskaba. The Bible says it said Benjamin received five times more than the others. Tell somebody favor and fair. Oh, come and say favor and fair. Child of God. Benjamin was the twelfth son. Benjamin was the last born. The Bible says, and Joseph sat them down in order of seniority. Reuben was the first. Simeon was the second. Levi was the third. Judah was the fourth. But the Bible says that the twelfth and the last born, his name was Benjamin. When he came to a blessing, the Bible says, and Joseph, he gave the last born the list in the number. He gave him five times more than the others. Can I put it in perspective? It means that if Reuben had a hundred dollars, Benjamin had five hundred dollars. You are not hearing me now. It means that if Reuben had one house, Benjamin had five houses. You are not hearing me now. It means that when Judah, when Reuben is boasting of one, Benjamin will carry five. Child of God, there is something in life that you need to understand. It is called favor. It was favor that made Benjamin to have five times more. It is not by power. It is not by age. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. It is not by favor. Child of God, I came to tell you, it is not by your career. It's not by your age. It's not by what you are doing. Tell somebody favor. Tell somebody favor. Tell somebody favor. I am here to tell you, the favor of God that makes men to have advantage in life, it is coming upon your life. There is an advantage that comes to favor. There is an advantage that comes to favor. And I'm here to tell you, after today, you will have testimony by reason of favor. You will have promotion by reason of favor. Salad!
Reuben, take one. Benjamin, take five. Ah, ah, somebody say favor and fair. Favor and fair. How do we put in the same effort? And I'm getting one. Somebody's getting five. Say, Lord, I reposition to favor. A few weeks ago, I preached a message from Mark chapter 4 in verse number 3. The Bible speaks about the sower. The Bible said the sower went to sow. The Bible says as he went, it says some fair by the wayside and others fair among stones. The Bible said the sower took a bunch of seed and he went with the purpose of sowing. But as he was going, he says some fair by the wayside and the birds came and they devoured the seed and some fair amongst turning places and because there was not enough earth he said it withered and it died and all the fair among tongues and the bible said it grew he said but the tongues choked it and it was unfruitful but among the seed there were others that fell on good ground and at the end of the day the one that produced was the one that fell on good ground can I talk to you? The problem was not with the seed. The problem was not with the sower. The problem was the location that they fell. Three out of four fell in a bad location. Only one had favor to fall on good ground. Child of God, any one of those seed had capacity and potential to produce any one of those seeds had capacity to be fruitful but because of bad luck they fell among stones they fell among thorns but by reason of favor one category fell on good ground i came to pray for you every pattern of bad luck that has followed you from the womb if i hear your amen loud and long it will turn to favor 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 Salah every bad luck that has followed me turn to favor my God my God Maskaba even among seed seed somebody says seed corn seed huh? there is favor uh, you are not hearing me now I said evil among seed for planting there is favor they are too quiet I am telling you the reason why 20 children can be born on the same day go to the same school but you come back in 20 years one of them is fat and flourishing and the other one is asking for money and you say but we grew up together but we went to the same school you were even the one teaching me in school lay hands you and say lord let me not live life by labor say lord take me to a dimension of favor ah child of god i beg you never despise the place of favor are you hearing me now thank god for hard work thank god for labor but child of god if there is no favor hard work becomes a ridicule they will say you toyed all night but you have nothing to show not because you folded your arm but you are lacking favor i said you need favor imagine benjamin comes out with his brothers he has five in his hand. In fact, his hand is full. He needs somebody to help him carry the other one. I don't say, Ruby, what happened to you? They are asking the others, not knowing that in this game they had nothing to do with it. It was favor. Amas Kobaha. Can I can I say something that is that is that is painful? Can I give you a, a, a bitter pill? Something that, that, that may anger you. Can I say something that may anger you? Life. It's not by seniority. Life is not by age. Life.
Life is not who came first. Life is results. It is result that makes a younger brother looks like senior brother. Ask a pata and never forget an annoying story that my father in the Lord said some time ago about a man in the city. He was the first born in this family and his father died but he was not aware. He kept receiving text message. Sorry, oh, accept our condolence. Sorry, oh, people we are texting and calling. He said, why is this nonsense? He said, my father is not dead. They kept saying, sorry, we heard a bad papa. We heard your father died. We are sorry, accept our condolence. And the man grew angry. He called his home in the village. He said, how come people are telling me this nonsense that papa died? And the younger ones, younger ones, they said, Uncle Sorio, yes, papa is true. Papa died last week. We buried him last night. And the elder brother said, what nonsense is this? I am the firstborn of the house. How can papa die? And nobody, how can papa die? Nobody called me. And the, and the younger one said, Uncle, calm down now. Don't be angry. We just said, rather than us, uh, asking you to bring money you don't have. Uh, we just said rather than not sending you money to come from the village, from the city to the village, we contributed that money as your own levy because we know you don't have money to come to the village. Child of God, every embarrassment that has followed you by reason of this favor, every embarrassment in your life that you are suffering because of lack of favor, that today I want to pray for you the favor that changes story the favor that wipes away tears the favor that ends affliction if I hear your amen loud and loud that favor will hit you I said the favor that changes story let that favor hit you I said let that favor hit you I said let that favor hit you Receive high favor. Receive favor. I'm Escobar. Benjamin. Five times more. And yet he's the youngest. Say, Lord, favor me. I was reading my Bible and I saw a story. The Bible says in Genesis 41. In verse number 42, a king by the name of Pharaoh, the Bible says he had a dream. And the Bible says in verse number 2 in the King James, the Bible says in verse 2, he said that one night, he said Pharaoh had a dream. And in the dream, he saw seven cows. Somebody says seven cows. They came out of the water and they were what? Ah, they were well favored. He said, Joe, this is Pharaoh. He said, I was standing by the river and I saw seven well favored cows. They came out of the river. They were looking fat and flourish and they were eating green grass by a meadow. The Bible says, as he kept on looking, the Bible says, and I saw another seven set of cows. He said, this one, he said, they were ill favored. Somebody they say ill favored the first set was well favored the second set was ill favored he said they were looking dry they were looking hungry they were looking scrunchy they were looking tired when Jacob when Pharaoh saw that dream he woke up and shouted blood of Jesus bad dream child of God there were seven well-favored cows. And on the other hand, there were seven ill-favored cows. So you see, even among animals, there is favor. Ah, uh, you are too quiet now. Even among cow, moo, 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 there is favor. There are cows with favor. There are other cows, no favor. Put your hand and say, Lord, give me favor. Aniskopa, Wakantus Akigugada, Jakatuska Ikopadea, Jaquantes Kafitopata, Equakanus Ede, wherever you are, whether you 
you are watching in house or you are watching online receive favor I said receive favor even among animals there is favor my wife and I we are driving some time ago we were driving on Westheimer and we came to the traffic stop and I saw a homeless person she was a panhandler she was looking for nickels and dimes she was there with a panhandle asking for nickels and dimes and then I saw her but something drew my attention she was holding a little puppy a dog in her hand a little puppy she was trying to use that puppy to draw sympathy I looked at her I looked at the puppy I shook my head I said even among animals there is favor because I remembered some six or seven years ago there was a news that that came that a woman by the name of Oprah she was in vacation in Hawaii and she was bored so she sent her private jet to carry her six puppies private jet to carry six puppies six puppies flew private jet to go on vacation they were eating cheese and caviar puppy puppy you are there talking about first class economy they are the same dogs are flying first class you are acting over economy say lord favor me say lord favor me say lord my god my god in westheimer five minutes from here a lady carrying a puppy under the hot sun looking for nickels and dime fast forward in hollywood there was another puppy six of them they were flying first class hey 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 they were eating cheese and caviar child of god there are some dogs in hollywood dogs cat c-a-t c-a-t meow 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 they are eating cheese and caviar they have groomers pet groomers they have chauffeurs that carry them for grooming twice a week they get manicure they get pedicure they even have health insurance you are there oh god favor me say lord favor me say lord favor me they are there getting a groom getting a nail shine you you are carrying the hair you carried last year no wonder when you shake your hair like this fuck are falling around you and they think it's not anointing there is something coming out they call it Uzziah it has been on your hair for years you are carrying the same hairstyle but there are people in Hollywood dogs dogs they have a state a state a state that has been willed to them And yet here you are on your way home after Thursday prayer you get to your house you are about to open your door and you see a cat come meow meow you will turn you that don't speak you you that don't speak in tongues all of a sudden oh my god grace will enter you you will turn and look at the cat cat pass kappa wate katua wherever you are from you wish you wish wherever you are coming from holy ghost and yet all the cat came to do was to beg for fish innocent cat meow meow has turned to witch and wizard and the cat will run because he has never seen madness like this before he will roar and you will come to church on Sunday say grace celebrate grace pastor rich God will bless you pastor Stella God will bless you guess what after Thursday prayer they came to my house and I shouted holy ghost Friends, he 
is favor. I said the difference is favor. It is lack of favor that makes a good old woman looks like a witch. A good woman, even a believer, but because she lacks favor, her children will look at her. They say you are a witch. You are the reason I'm not prospering. There is a lack of favor that makes a good sister be suspected. I came today by the power of the spirit. Every level of bad luck in your life, it will turn to favor. I said, let it turn to favor. Receive favor for career. Receive favor for business. Receive favor for destiny. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you're ready. Who I got is about to do. I have not seen. Yes, have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. What God will do, it shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor on your side. Favor on your side. Favor on your side. Favor! Shout favor! Shut favor. Even among animals, there is favor. Favor is a system that God has put on the earth where men can bypass protocol. Nothing makes a man to arrive on time like favor. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, the Bible says in Genesis 33, I must cover Derikoskaba, Dima Akusovia. May God give you favor. The Bible says, when you read in Exodus, Exodus chapter 3 and 21, he said, it shall come to pass. He said, I will give the people favor in the eyes of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when they come out, they will not come out empty. In Exodus chapter 11, in verse number 3, he said, and God gave them favor. In Exodus chapter 12, in verse number 36, he said, and God gave the people favor. In 1 Samuel chapter 2 and 26, he said, and Samuel, he grew and he obtained favor before God and with men. In 1 Samuel, the Bible says, he said, and he sent to Jesse, he said, bring David to stand before me because he has found favor in my sight. In Esther chapter 2, in verse number 15, the Bible says, and Esther obtained favor in the eyes of all men. The Bible says, in Psalm chapter 5, when you read in verse 12, it said, oh God, it said, thou shall bless the righteous and with favor he will encompass him like a shield in faith in Psalm chapter 30 in verse number 7 he said by thy favor thou has made my mountain to be strong in Psalm chapter 102 in verse number 13 thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her yea the set time it has come in the book of Luke chapter 1 
in verse 28 and the angel came to Mary he said hail Mary the Lord is with you God had a highly favor the one I like the most is Daniel chapter 1 in verse number 9 he said and God carried Daniel and put him inside favor Daniel 1 and God carried Daniel and brought him into favor you are not hearing me God carried Daniel and brought him into favor God carried Daniel and put him inside favor the place Daniel was there was no favor when God wanted to change the story he carried him and he dumped him inside favor that is what we call divine transportation it happened to Adam in Genesis chapter 2 in verse 15 it says and God took Adam that he had fallen and he put him inside Eden the Lord took man and carried him into the land of Eden Adam was not created in the land of Eden he was created outside Eden but when God wanted to favor Adam he carried him and put him inside Eden what is Eden? Eden is paradise somebody here I don't know where you are but the God of heaven he will carry you from where you are into favor he will carry your business into favor he will carry your career into favor I don't know who you are maybe your father's house nobody has been favor I am here to tell you the God of this commission is getting ready to carry you from a place of rejection to a place of favor God is getting ready to carry you from a place of want into favor grace we carry you from lack into favor I don't know who you are but God said to tell you he's carrying you from good to better from better to best from best to favor from favor to glory from glory to 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 glory a theme you are not spiritual the angels that God has given to work with me I feel something strange You are coming out from foundation. You are coming out from your father's house. You are coming out from poverty. You are coming out from joblessness. I feel the angels of my father. They are moving for your favor. They are carrying you from where you are to your place of settlement. The angels of this commission, they are carrying you from lack and want to prosperity. You are moving. Say, I'm moving by power. I'm moving by the Spirit. Wherever you are watching from, Many of you that are typing amen right now. As many of you.
have you seen amen right now? May angels carry you. I said angels carry you. I said angels carry you. Angels carry you. From story to glory. From pain to gain. From test to testimony. From stagnation to progress. From loneliness to settlement. From one to ten. From ten to hundred. From a hundred to a thousand. From a thousand to a of favor. Say, Pastor, talk to me. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 26 he said that Samuel had the two of them. Samuel did what? Had the two of them. And the child grew and was in favor both with what? God and with what? Man, there are two kinds of favor. There is vertical favor. There is horizontal favor. Vertical favor is favor you get with God. Horizontal favor, favor with man. Child of God, for life to be sweet, you need the two. You need what? The two. Benjamin do you understand who Benjamin is because sometimes when we preach like this we assume everybody knows Jacob had 12 children somebody said 12 Benjamin was not the first was not second was not third was not fought. Six, seven, eight, nine. He was number 12. Somebody say number 12. When Joseph began to sit them down, he sat them down according to age. But when it came to result, the Bible says he started with Benjamin. Five times more. Put your hand on your head. Say, Lord, let me have a fivefold testimony. why men you just can't explain them you are doing the same thing they are doing but they come out with results that boggles your mind you cannot explain how somebody who just came to this country two years ago this church OFM is only 16 years somebody says 16 years but there is no other church that is 16 years that has its rivalry. All the other big name church you are seeing, the least one is 30 something years. Let me talk to you. All the other big names, yes, the one in your mind now. Go and check out the day they, got, they were founded. They are at least 30 something years old. This, this great man in Houston here. I'll say, say yeah, uh, Joel Austin. They were celebrating their 65th anniversary. 65. How many of you are 65 here? So which is when it was founded, you were not even there. This church is 15 years. But there is no nation under the sun. You won't find Omega. OFM Houston is only five. We just clocked five in, in, in September. People say, Pastor, what is going on? It's not my preaching. It's not my prayer. You cannot gather people like this with this.
this level of heart. And it's not favor. It's not my preaching. It's not prophecy or miracle. Tell somebody favor. And if you have sense, look for a man that carries favor. I don't have to spray perfume. If I hug my wife very well, I will smell like perfume. And this cafe obaka, the hina akuskavia, there is a blessing that comes by association. And then he turns a kaya. Joseph carried the grace for dream. When he began to dream, he was 17 years old. When he entered prison, the prisoners began to dream. The prisoners who didn't dream before, because they connected to a man that carried the oil of dream, they too began to dream. When the prisoners left the prison and they entered the court of Pharaoh, Pharaoh began to dream. Can I prophesy? The grace of God is upon me. In my eyes, they are open. I prophesy. With this man that used to pray under the grace of Omega, grace will change your story. I said, Grace will wipe your tears. Wherever you are, receive favor. giving this house grace to do we are less than five and yet by the grace of God we had viewers in the thousands all over the world go and find a church that is five years that is doing what God is doing in this house it is not by struggle Horizontal favor. Vertical favor. Mary was not the only virgin. In those days, it is abnormal to find female who were not virgins. It's either they were something, you know, like, like David's son molested his sister. It is very uncommon because in those days when a woman on her wedding day to prove her virginity, they will carry a white sheet and lay it down. And then at the end in the morning, the mother of the bride will carry the white sheet and dance around. It was not unusual. So it wasn't because, you know, when we, when we are preserved, because Mary was, no! Everybody in that category were virgins. But the Bible says, Thou has found favor. There was a beauty pageant in Esther chapter 2. Esther was not the finest. No, sir. It was in Esther's leg that was longest. But when the king saw Esther, something about Esther, whether it was what she was wearing or the way her hair was flowing, we don't know. The Bible says as soon as the king saw her, he said the pageant is over. Esther obtained favor in the eyes of all men. Somebody say horizontal favor. I prophesy after today you will find favor with men. You will find favor with men. You will find favor with men that matters. With men that matters. Men that can interpret your dream. Men that can change your story. You will find favor with men. Amen. How does this happen? Ja, 
child of God, favor is God's prerogative. Somebody says it's God's prerogative. God's prerogative. There is something about the life of Benjamin. It was Moses that first saw it. When you read in Deuteronomy, in Deuteronomy, I discover chapter number 33 and 12. There is something that Moses saw in the life of Benjamin. He said, Benjamin, the what? The what? The beloved of the Lord. It was through the eye of prophecy that prophet Moses, he looked at them. He said, there is something about Benjamin. He is the beloved of the Lord. Somebody said, beloved Benjamin. Nothing attract favor to a man like when God set his love on him. I have found David. Maska hino maka, a man after my heart. Why did Jacob obtain? Why did Jacob give Joseph the cup of many color? In Genesis chapter thirty-seven and three, the Bible says, "He said that God, that Jacob, he said now Israel did what? Come on, talk to me. He loved Joseph more than what?" all his children and gave him the court of favor. Jacob loved his children but he loved this one more and he gave him the coat of many color which is the coat of favor. Mahatis cover. The Bible says when you read in 1 Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 37 in 1 Samuel in 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel 12 and 24. 2 Samuel 12 and 24. The Bible says, and when Solomon was born, the Bible said God sent message. 2 Samuel 12 and 24. He said, when Solomon was born, he said, and David comforted Beersheba, his wife, and went and laid with her, and she bare the son called what? Solomon. And God did what? Loved him. So you wonder why Solomon was so blessed. Somebody say love. If you want to provoke favor in your life, love God to pieces. Love God to what? To pieces. When you read our quotation every Sunday, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8, it says, as it is written, eyes have not seen. Ears have not what? Have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. What God has prepared for them that what? That love him. There are some blessings that come to your life. Not because you prayed. There are some blessings you will never receive. If you like you do 100 day dry fast. There are some blessings that only come to you. Because you are so fond of God. I was, I called a beloved sister. A beloved sister. I called her. I said, I've not seen you in church. He said, oh pastor, I've been working so much. I've been working so much. I said, why? He said, pastor, things are hard. I just want to just walk this season. So I've included Sunday to my schedule. Ah. I said, come and see me. We can't talk about this on the phone. Say, Lord, say, Lord, let me, let my love for you, let it become above all else. Peter, son of Jonah, love at me more than this. Oh, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Anything you do for God in this kingdom that is not on the platform of love. If you like, you sweep this house. Sweep it until the floor is so bare. If the love of God is not in your heart. He said, if I give my body to be beaten and there is no love, I'm wasting my time. 
I don't know if you are following me today. When men love God, heaven knows. When men love God, it shows in your prayer. It shows in your service. It shows in your attitude. I don't know why, why, why my heart is one of the things that I thank God for my father and the Lord, Apostle Suleiman. Because it was when I entered Omega, I understood how to love God. And I'm, there are some of you, you are, you are, you are runs people, runs, runs. You know runs? You know runs? Runs men and runs women. You play God as though he's... God is just watching you. There is something that God looks for in the heart of a man. This one loves me. This one loves me. The eyes of the Lord runs to and fro looking at men, not the work that they are doing. He says the eyes of the Lord run to and fro and is examining hearts. He wants to see men whose heart is before him so that he can show himself strong. What God can give you by one atom of favor if you like, you live a thousand days on earth. You will never smell it. Anahaya. Child of God. The reason why many of us are able to live in purity is not because we are just supermen. We just love God. We just love God. It is the love of God that runs through my vein. Ask her. The reason I can never backbite you I love God. I can never keep malice with you. I love God. I will never carry your matter to go and tell her because I love God. There are many fake Christians. You speak in tongues but the love of God is fine in your heart. And you wonder why there are delays. of what you knew before when the love of God takes a hold of your heart ah, by this shall all men know that he are my disciples when you demonstrate love how can you be a Christian and you keep malice like Satan What heaven are you going to? They have begged you. Huh? Huh? They have begged you. Mm -hmm. No, Pastor, I'm just, I can't take it anymore. I just, I, I, don't, I don't have time for nonsense. Huh? If you want to go to heaven, take nonsense. Oh. Huh? Do what? Take nonsense. Somebody say love. There is something about love that makes a woman act like a mumu to her husband. Oh! Scafi! Kappa, scapa. A woman with PhD degrees to the wazoo. But because of love. Anianama. My God, oh my God, I pray for you. That you begin to walk in a everything about your life. You will find yourself waking up to pray at night. Not because there is a witch somewhere. I just want to praise you Lord. And lift my hands to say I love you. And you are everything to me. And I exhort you all. Love. You are guided by love. In my whole life. I'm not a small boy. I can count in one finger how many times I've missed church. How many fingers you see here? In my whole life, I can count in one finger how many times I've missed church. It is value that you put on God. Heaven knows this one. Anamaskapa. Hey, may God baptize you with love. Receive the baptism of love.
If you like, you thought that Solomon just gave a thousand burnt offering and God just appeared. Eh? Eh? You think Solomon just took a, a thousand burnt offering and just sacrificed and God said, wow, wow, Angel Gabriel, can you see this? I have never seen this before. Oh, hey, a thousand, a th th thousand, thousand. They cut all upon a thousand hills. They are mine. It was the heart of love. The Bible says, and Solomon loved the Lord. And Solomon loved the Lord. If you don't love God, keep your offering. If you don't love God, there is nothing you will do that will matter. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, infuse my heart. Stand to your feet. Infuse my heart. With the love of God. Stand up. Mask, dear. There is a level of favor that God is bringing upon your life. On the platform of his love. Lift your and say, Lord. By your love. Favor my cause. Say, by your love. Let me enjoy favor. From today. Because of your love. Let me enjoy favor. Let me enjoy Say, favor. my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin because to pray. Because of your love. Because of your love. Let me enjoy favor. Let me enjoy favor. Lord. Lord. Bring me. Bring me. Into favor. Into favor. By your love. By your love. Bring me. Bring me. Into favor. Into favor. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Father, let me Shama enjoy Maka favor. Shama Makaskofa. Let go see. Into favor, oh God. Kap Bring me, bring me to favor bring me to favor lord mark it is a get bring me to favor bring me to favor bring me to favor lord bring me to favor lord Bring me to favor, Lord. Bring me to favor, Lord. He la kote rege de ziga da bashata ya. He ma de ziga de susara ya ya sata ya. He pato rege de ziga da bashata ya ya. Bring me to favor, Lord. Bring me to favor, Lord. He kota raga da zaka te ya. He la kote rege de ziga da bashata ya. Le mana la zaka da baga de yeshi ya. He kota rege de ziga. He pata raga ziga da bashata ya. Listen to me. I know what I felt yesterday as I was praying. And I felt again early this morning, 2, 3, 4 a.m. as I was praying. The Lord is here to favor. Please don't pray casually. The Lord is here to what? Favor. Don't pray casually. Sure. The Bible says in, sec, in, in 1 Samuel chapter 2 and 26, it said that Samuel was a recipient of vertical favor. And what? Horizontal. Horizontal favor. What is vertical favor? Favor with God. Horizontal favor with, with man. man. Say Father. Father. By the love of God. By the love of God. God. Cause me to find favor both with God and with men. Cause me to find favor both with God and with men. We are going to break it. The first one. Father, let me find. That's what Moses said. Moses said, if I find favor in where? Your eyes. Lift your hand. Say, Lord. Lord. Let me find favor in your eyes. Let me find favor in Say, your eyes. Say, Lord. Lord. As I pray. As I pray. Let me find favor. Let me find favor. In your eyes. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let me find favor in your eyes. Let me find favor in your eyes. Let let me 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 let me
Six and ten or six and eight. Six and ten, six and eight. Barakus Kaneleba. Elis Kabal. Deros Kania. Look at eight and six for me. Eight and six. Baruske de Nusavikia. Anisko Briga Doskaba. Continue for me. No songs of Solomon eight and ten. Songs of Solomon eight and ten. He said, I was before him as one that found favor. I was what? In his eyes, in the eyes of God, I just found favor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the prayer of Moses. Oh Lord, let me find favor in your eyes. Please, if your knees have to hit the floor, as the Lord leads you, don't be carnal about this prayer. Because it is something that God can put on you today. Are you hearing me now? The Bible says, and the ark of the Lord enter the house of Obedidon and in less than three months, boom! It announced Obedidon. Father, let me find favor in your eyes. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Please focus. If you are in business, you are in school, you are in career, oh God, let me find favor in your eyes. Lift up here and say, my father, my father. My, my father, father, my, my father. father. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, let me find favor. Let, let me find favor in your eyes. In your eyes. Say, oh God of heaven. Oh God of heaven. Oh God that favors me. 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 Let me find favor. Let me find favor in your eyes. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God that favors me. Let me find favor in your eyes. Let me find favor in your eyes. Let God that let me find favor in your hands. 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 Oh God, a famous man. Let me find favor in your hands. Let me find favor in your hands. Let me find favor in your hands. 
Let me find favor. Let me find favor. Let me find favor. Defy your God. Let me find favor. Lipa to Renga de Sigaya. Ella Cotta Renga de Sigaya. La Cotta Renga de Gadaya. Let me find favor your eyes. Let me find favor your eyes. Ella Cotta Renga de Sigaya. Lipa to Renga de Gadaya. Ella Cotta 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 Renga de Gadaya. Let me find favor. Let me find favor, Lord. Let me find favor, Lord. Let me find favor. Oh, somebody pray. Let me find favor. Somebody pray. Let me find favor. Let me find favor. Let me let me find favor. 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 Let me find Let me find favor. Let me find Let me find favor. 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 Let me Let me find favor. Let me find favor. Before your eyes, Lord. Let me find favor. 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 And verse number seven, it says, By thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to be strong. Somebody say, By, my, by thy favor, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain, thou hast made my strong. mountain. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 33 and 23, it said, Naphtali or Naphtali. Satisfied with what? With favor. Naphtali or oh Naphtali? Satisfied. Father, satisfy me with favor. Oh my God, what I'm feeling is strange. You, you need to cry out for your destiny. Lord, satisfy me with favor. Lift your hands. So, Lord. Lord, as I pray, as as I pray, pray bless me, bless me with the blessing of Naphtali. With the with the blessing blessing of Naphtali. Naphtali. Say, Lord, Lord, bless me, bless me with the blessing of Naphtali. With the blessings of Naphtali. Satisfy me, satisfy me with favor, with favor. favor. Oh Lord, satisfy me with the blessings of Naphtali. In the water like a desire, with the blessings of Naphtali, oh God. Favor me with the favor of Naphtali. Let it the blessings of Naphtali. In the water like a desire, the blessings of Naphtali. Lord, satisfy me with the blessings of Naphtali. Ela 
Horizontal favor. Horizontal favor. Ah, lift your two hands. Listen to me. It is this kind of favor. Eh? Hear me. It is this kind of favor that took Joseph by one how many of you have ever interpreted a dream here? Somebody told you a dream and interpreted a dream. Some just, whether you got it or not, you try to interpret a dream. Did they give you money? But a man interpreted another man's dream. The Bible said, boom! Heaven opened for him. Lift your hand. Father, cause me to find favor among men. You are going to just cry to God. You are living among men. He said, give. It shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together. Shall what? Men give unto you. Men! Give to your bosom. Men! You need men. You need the gift of men. You need the gift of man. Lift your hands. Father, cause me to find favor among men. In Esther 2 and 15, the Bible says, and Esther found favor in the eyes of all men. Esther 2 15, it says, Esther found favor in the eyes of all men. Lift your hands. Say, Lord. Lord, let me find favor with men. Let me find favor with men. Let me find favor with men. Let me find favor. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray, let me find favor. Let me find favor with men. Bring me into favor. Bring me into favor with men. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my father. Shut me to find favor with men. Bring me into favor with men. Put on like a dress. Bring me into favor with men. to do 
The Lord says, anoint them with fresh oil. Fresh. Please go to the bookstore, give me fresh oil. Make sure it's not opened. Fresh. Make sure it's not open. Do not allow me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go empty. Do not allow me. Do not allow me. Oh. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go empty-handed. Lift your hands. Keep the keyboard on for me. Oh, no, man, just lift your hands. I just want you to cry to him. Lord, don't let me go without favor. Don't let me go without favor. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, oh. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go. Do not allow me. Oh, my God. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go. The favor that changes destiny. The favor that changes men. The favor that wipes out tears. The favor that announces men. The favor that turns story to glory. The favor that makes men to accelerate. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right where you are. Right where you are. Let that favor fall. Let that favor fall on you. Let that favor fall on you. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, take that favor. Take, take, take favor. Makaskopa, Pakadeskopa, right where you are. The favor for progress. The favor for business. The favor that will change your team. Nanamahai. Lift your hands. There is something that is flowing. Just lift your hands. Let favor touch that hand. Lord, let favor touch that hand. Let right there, right there, right there. Favor. 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 Tag. Pascalia. Tag. Right there. The oil of favor. 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 Take it now. Take. Take it. Take. Power. Power. Shamanwa. Oh. I speak a word over your life. May the God of all flesh favor you. That this year, by reason of favor, you will have testimonies. That this year, even this month, may doors open to you by favor. That everywhere you have knocked, they will open to you by favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name. Lord, I speak into this oil. I decree the favor of Almighty God. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to me. Sometimes, sometimes if you don't do what the Spirit tells you to do, you shortchange the people. I would love for us to close and leave early. But the truth is this. If God were to open your eyes to let you know what came on this service, 
you will stone me if I anoint you with oil. I heard him clear. He says, anoint them with fresh oil. With what? Fresh oil. Every one of you watching online, the same extends to you in Jesus' name. Please, I want you, if I am your pastor, please listen to me. If God has told you that I am your pastor, then you have a responsibility to me as I do to you. Are you hearing me now? Yes. It is your responsibility to make sure you hold my hand if I am your pastor. It is your responsibility. You must hold the hand of your pastors. You must. I don't know why I'm led to say this, but I'll say it. Never let anything make you to have grievance with your pastors, whether your pastor and your, or the pastor's wife. Never. Never. Because many times you are the eve of your blessing when such things start happening. And Satan just wants to see how they can frustrate their blessing. Never. Your pastors, yes, they are anointed, but they are also human. So, God forbid they forget to call you on your birthday. No. No, God forbid, maybe they were, you, were in a very, you were in a time in your life where you needed somebody and nobody called you. Don't be offended. Are you hearing me now? I don't know why I'm saying this. Just love your pastors. Just love them. There is something about you loving your pastors. Just loving them. Never entertain somebody on the phone. Who brings the news to you about your pastor? Pastor, your pastor, your pastor's wife. Same thing. Yes. There is a way you love them that they are even their shortcomings, you overlook them. I don't know why I'm on this matter. Anyway. Say, hold your pastor's hand. Amen. So please take out your phone wherever you are. Just take out your phone right now. Through your engagement, your text messages, your likes, your comment. You are holding your pastor's hands. Paul preached. Apollo's what? Watered. God gave what? Increase. I have preached this message now. It is your responsibility to share this message. Imagine everybody here now likes this message. We will have over 200 likes. But I'm saying it now and many of you will not do it. Please do it. Bring out your phone. All your likes, every one of you, when you like the message, you are helping propel this gospel. Please like the message now. And before, if you are watching us for the first time or you have not subscribed, please, I beg you, subscribe. Do that. Please subscribe. Through your subscription, we are able to reach more souls. Please, I beg you, subscribe and hit the alert button. Please stand to your feet, take an offering in your hands. On the 20th of November is fire night. Somebody say fire night. The 20th of November, that is the third Friday of this month. The 20th of November, fire night time, 9 p.m. Amen. God bless you. Stand to your feet, take an offering in your hand. Let us share the benediction. Glory to God. Amen. Please, anytime you watch a message of this house, please always, always leave comment. Please look at the various mediums available to you and give God a benevolent and a generous offering. Amen. It says God loves a what? A cheerful giver. Don't be a scrungy giver. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Please take the various measures available to you. Prepare your offerings very quickly. Amen. God knows. Heaven knows. Like There is nothing that is too much for me to give to God. Nothing. In fact, my wife... <laughs> God bless her. <laughs> he said, the only thing you cannot sow is me and my children. <laughs> if it's in the account, I will sow it. It's just what I, my life is God. Everything is God. I'm just amen. So thank God she doesn't complain. I'll sow all our shoe money. I'll sow it. <laughs> I'll sow, I just, I don't know. There are sometimes I'm just praying. I can't tell you. I'm just praying. After prayer, I say, Father, thank you. Bring out my phone. Give an offering. <laughs> I just love God like that. There's no, I don't need to be in church. 
Sometimes I'm just I just pack. Just give an offering. I'm just, just I just love God. As, as I'm saying it now, I'm, I'm feeling just electricity down my spine. I don't, I can't explain this thing to you. If you know, you know. It's just what it is. Amen. God bless you. Have you given the offering? Put your hand on your head. Say, my head is a good head. My head, you will carry favor. My head is a good head. My life is a good one. Favor is on my side. Mercy is on my side. Grace on my side.